to go in. I'm going to put some putty primer. I've got a couple dry patches from um, the winter, I guess, that I have right here. I've got some on my arms and it's driving me nuts. But I'm going to put this on my face before I get started. And then self tan. Don't worry, my hands are a little funky. Um. <clears throat> I've got some glasses and I'm actually not wearing my contacts today because I want to give my eyes a break. Um, so I'm going to do my makeup with no contacts on, no glasses, and then set with powder in those glasses area to um, work with my glasses. So I have two pairs. So those are my first ones. These are my second. I really like them both. I'm not sure which ones I like better, but they're both very comfortable and very good price. I got them from iBuyDirect. They have my prescription in them. You can just get frames or blue light if you want, or you can get actual glasses. So I did that. Um, these ones I really like. They're super lightweight. They're just kind of, they're, they're kind of loud, <laughs> but I don't really care. Um, this girl I follow, she's a saint artist, and she's always talking about like buying funky, fun glasses from different sites like that, so I wanted to give it a try, and I'm really glad I did. So, um, I'm going to work out of my palette. Here's my Saint Beauty palette. This is the one I'm currently working out of, but I am going to probably grab a couple colors from random spots just because that's how I roll. I like to have my options and I'm not very organized <laughs> right now. So I think I'm going to do, um, what's this color called? Indigo for my contour today. So taking my detail brush. Now, if your contours right now, especially in the winter, are a little stiffer, heat them up with your, your mouth, hit them with a blow dryer for a couple seconds, or you can even take some face oil like this. I'll show you. This is just Milani um, rose oil. I'm just gonna put a drop and see if the one drop works. But you only need just a little bit to kind of work it in. It will slide on so much better. Oh yeah, so one drop is enough. So indigo is one of our darker contours. I love it for going out. If you want a little bit more of a dramatic contour for photos, um, like photography, I highly recommend this one. But I like to use it every once in a while because I always use Astoria. So I just like to change it up a bit. So working in four lines across my temple, under each cheekbone, along my jawline. Now remember guys, our contours along with our highlights have coverage, so that's why I'm not putting my highlight all over to start because my contour has coverage. Then I'm going to go into my correcting shade, which is amber, and I'm just going to put it in a paint by numbers fashion everywhere else, <clears throat> but my contour is not. Just tapping, pressing, buffing, stamping, however you want to call it, <clears throat> into my skin. So these colors you don't have to guess on. I can actually color match you with a makeup free selfie. <clears throat> Excuse me, a makeup free selfie in natural light. Just send that my way and I will get you color match to 
your three or four colors that will give you your all over foundation. And then the rest you can pick because they're all just blushes, lips, eyeshadows, things like that. But we can actually talk about what <clears throat> your goal is for your makeup palette. If you want something super simple or if you want all the things, we can build you a, a big custom palette that has everything that you could ever want inside it because we have these big compacts that hold literally everything like you can have everything in there so it's so cool so <clears throat> my voice is cracking today just evening out my tone and I think I'm going to use sunlit today I go back and forth between Sunlit, Aura, Versailles. You can kind of play around with your brightening colors. So the highlights <clears throat> are to add brightness and coverage. So this one color corrects and matches my skin tone. And then I go in with one that brightens. <clears throat> oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. So this one is Sunlit. <clears throat> Hold on. Alright. I'm going to go in with Sunlit. Put this in the center. Ooh, the center of my face. And then my eyes. I even like this one on my lid. to help brighten and color correct any purpley blue veins, that kind of thing. Because we're using color science with our makeup. That's why some of our colors look more yellow or orange. It's because they're used for certain things on your skin that might have a yellow or a purple tone. So we use a, a yellow one to counteract that and brighten. Orange would be for like dark blues and stuff like that. So. There's a science behind it, so it might look scary in the tin, but when it goes on your skin, it just blends in like butter. And I'm just going to buff it. <laughs> I can see, but not like super clear, so we'll see how this turns out. So this will be fun. <laughs> Softening that line. I'm going to go into my Bella bronzer. That is Bella. That is tan lines. I'm going to do Bella. Ooh. And just kind of come more higher up on my cheekbone compared to my contour. And do like a C shape around my eye. This just adds that warmth. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> I am going to take my Astoria contour. Um, it's a little bit more ashy than my indigo to do my nose contour. Sunlit down the middle. Tap that out. Just like that. Then what I did yesterday and I loved, I used Nude, Lip and Cheek. I believe it was Nude. I'm going to double check. Maybe it was Plum. Use nude, lip and cheek. This is forever a staple in my collection is nude. 
because it's beautiful on its own, but it's also beautiful if you mix it, which is what I'm going to do today. So I go kind of on the higher points of my cheek and blend up. Okay. Then I'm going to take St. Tropez. St. Tropez. This guy right here, she's beautiful. And <clears throat> put her on top, but slightly lower. Okay. I've just been loving this combination. Then I'm going to take my contour, which is indigo. Lightly line my lips. kind of sloppy with this but it's okay I'm gonna take nude It's seriously so pretty just on its own, but then I am going to add St. Tropez, St. Tropez over top, but I'll do that in a minute. <clears throat> I want to add my, let's see, I think I'm going to do confetti today. I have chandelier in here, so I'm going to do confetti. demi brush. I believe it's the shape brush. Okay, and then a little bit of my scent number five. Ooh, my hair is crazy today. Let's go into Chai. It's an awesome transition wash of color. And like I always tell you guys, this blend brush works amazing to just put a wash of color on your eyelid. So it just adds a little definition. I am going to go in with chai, or sorry, cafe. I just did chai. And I like to tap it in that outer corner.
replace the pigment. Okay, and then you can just lightly take it and blend it like that. <clears throat> then I'm going to take what's left on my brush from my highlight bring it up like that and then bring that cafe under my eyes so I'm not doing too, too crazy with my eyes because I'm about to put my glasses on I am gonna put my brows on you guys know I use Arabian Nights, and if you don't, you need to try it. It's a cream shadow. It just works so nicely with the line brush to fill in your brows. Uh, this burn mark is funny. Draw a line at the bottom and then just fill in from there. And I kind of lay it on its side and like flick up to get more pigment, like spread out more quicker. And then if you go up and down, you can turn it to where it's more of a flick. <clears throat> This is summer. I'm just using it to crisp up my contour. So my contour kind of brings out that little burn. It doesn't bother me. What I would recommend though next time is maybe putting some um, Aspen contour over top. So I'm gonna set real quick with my Charlotte Tilbury matte. Tap it in. This just really presses in your makeup. Make sure you didn't get any extra product so it picks up any extra product and it really helps for under your eyes, especially if you're about to set it like I am for <clears throat> powder. So my glasses wear like me. So I usually wear contacts, but um, I'm giving my eyes a break because my I only have a couple pairs left and I have to order my new prescription, but my eye kept twitching and that's just because my eyes, like I need to change them and they're kind of straining. So for glass wearers, glasses wearers, you want to set those areas that your glasses touch. And then I'm just going to go with that whole matte look today. A little bit more powder or spray. Let that dry. <clears throat> and mattified my skin still looks nice and 
fresh. Um, and then I'm going to decide what glasses I want to wear. So these are, oh, I forgot to do my other lip. So Saint, Saint Tropez. top of nude and you guys it's so pretty so that's Saint Tropez and nude love them together um, <clears throat> they're both satin so it's more of a matte finish if you want a gloss you can put our lip conditioner that's my brow wax lip conditioner over top or um, like another color like boardwalk would be really pretty um, this is our pink cherry lip color. I love this. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. So these are glasses number one. Like I said, this thing is going to show, but it's fine. I really like those. <clears throat> and then I got a pair of the square ones. Those are cool too. I don't know which ones. I definitely like my glasses with my makeup on. I feel, I feel myself. So one, and two. But I can definitely put my makeup on without having glasses, which I think is pretty cool. Um, because this makeup is so easy to apply. <laughs> you don't really have to like fix anything. And if you do, it's cream. You can just blend it out when you put your glasses on and make sure you're you're all set and you're good to go. So I think I'm going to wear these ones today. And yeah, if you want your color match, we can get you into an awesome compact just like these. Have all your makeup in one. Make just a custom eyeshadow palette. One just for your face. Or like I said, you can get a triple decker and put all the colors that you need. Everything from foundation, concealer, bronzer, lip and cheeks, brows, brow wax, perfume, illuminators, eyeshadows, uh, chapstick, our lip conditioner, everything fits in here, powder. Um, you just need a couple tools and something to set your makeup with and you're good to go. So I'd love to get you set up. So let me know if you want that color match to your own Saint palette. Bye guys.